Hey there guys, how's it going? Welcome to another family friendly podcast. I still haven't thought of a better name for this, so it's the Clean Gaming Podcast, episode 2 I guess. Um, before I start, I just want to thank you guys for the uh, feedback you gave me on the last one of these. Um, it was very mainly positive actually, I was, I was quite happy. I wasn't sure how you guys were going to feel about it. Some people weren't fans of it. Uh, in fact, boring and a bit rubbish were the words used by some. But uh, other people quite enjoyed it, so I'm pleased with that and it did pretty well in the views for my videos anyway so um, thanks very much guys for that again leave me feedback in this one too let me know what you guys think so with that out of the way we're gonna do some news floating around in the gaming sphere at the moment there's quite a lot going on actually but first I want to talk about something I've been playing on my uh, 3DS it's the uh, the name I can't quite remember actually it's the Professor Layton slash Phoenix Wright crossover game um, now, this came out a little while ago, actually. I'm pretty late to this party, but um, I remember when this game got announced and I saw the trailer on uh, IGN, I flipped. <laughs> I was so happy about this. And it sort of passed me by because I was a massive Leighton fan and I love the Ace Attorney games. And um, basically, this game is really awesome so far. Um, uh, some reviews say it's not so great, but from the things I've heard from people who've played it, like one guy, because basically, I'm a fan of the first two games on the DS. Pandora's Box, my absolute favourite, love it. The third one, uh, Lost Future, good. The one after that, rubbish. <laughs> no offence, level five. Um, I haven't really played Miracle Mask or the the other one that came out after this, but none of them have really captured the, the spirit and the feeling of the first two. And this one instantly, boom, it was in there. It felt just like the originals. It had that awesome, what I love as well. It really is blending these two games together. So it starts off with that, that little piano riff from an Ace Attorney game. And then it comes in with the, the, the French sounding fiddle from the Leighton games for the main menu. Oh, it's great. Uh, I've just gotten to the point where the main characters from both series mix. And it's so funny. I won't spoil anything, but it was hilarious the first time they meet. So I'm really looking forward to that. So... I highly recommend you guys pick that up, actually. It's well worth playing if you have a 3DS. So, let's go and have a look at some news. There's some rather interesting stuff. We'll start off with something light that's technically not video game related, but it may as well be because it's cool. Uh, someone's made an actual hoverboard, you know, like you've seen the ones in uh, Back to the Future. It's it's not as cool as that, to be fair, but um, where is it? It's been kick-started. Uh, it sounds awful. <laughs> um, this is an article from Kotaku, and they put it as, it sounds like the screaming death of a million pigs, and it's not quite that bad. I'll play you a bit in a second. But um, if you back them by $10,000, you will get a working hoverboard, but you need to have a floor made out of a certain type of metal, otherwise it won't work because it uses magnets. Um, anything below that, and you don't actually get anything, apparently. You just get some T-shirts or something. If you back them for $1,000, you get a free... Well, <laughs> you get a ride for one hour on it. Uh, as long as you can get to Silicon Valley, apparently. So, <laughs> bargain of the century. Snap it up, guys, while they're, while they're still there. Let's see if I can get this uh, noise to come up now. Because it is... Oh, it's ear screeching. Here we go. <laughs> that is the sound of the future. There you Oh, make it... Stop. Yeah, I can just see the waveform on my recording software just gone bonkers there, so I hope you weren't wearing headphones. Um, yeah, so not as cool yet as the ones in Back to the Future, but it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. We shall see. It will be cool. Um, this one is crazy. Um, if any of you guys have heard of the game Spelunky, it's sort of a 2D platformer type uh, roguelike thing. Someone's beaten it using a dance pad as a controller. <laughs> which is insane um, I've tried a few levels of this it was crazy hard and I was using the regular control scheme so I can't believe some dude has done this beaten it with a dance pad gotten to the end of it that is crazy I don't know how long it took him but good grief that is mental um, so the new Smash Bros for the Wii U is coming along and oh boy they have released a ugh, Okay, now I, I love you, Nintendo, and I defend you more than most people do when people wail on you, but oh, come on, do yourself a favour, don't release adverts like this. 
It's for Smash Bros. Brawl slash their Amiibo figures. Dumbest name ever. Um, yeah, it's 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 bad. Um, I'll probably leave a link to this in the video description if you can stomach it. It's pretty cringeworthy, but hey, you know that's Nintendo. They they do what they like, not what the fans want. <laughs> oh dear. Um, so slightly darker topic. There's a bit of a, a thing going around in the media right now about a game called Hatred. Uh, if you guys have heard of it, it's um, it's uh, it's the kind of game that, in my opinion, does not need to exist and gives video games a bad name. This sort of thing, it annoys me, and my recording software is having a glitch. No? Okay, it's still going. Great, it just froze for a second there. Yeah, this game... <clears throat> It just, it draws a lot of attention to it, and I just find it gives gaming a bad name. It doesn't need to exist. Basically, the idea is it's made by, um, oh, I've forgotten the name of them. It's basically a top-down shooter, and apparently the aim is just to commit genocide on innocent people. That's the entire aim of the game, because the main character is consumed by the hatred for the human race. <sighs> yeah. Apparently... The developers wanted to make it as a response to all the politically correct games going around right now. So hey, let's mur let's make a game about murdering innocent civilians brutally and have our main character take pleasure in it because he hates people for some reason. Um, it's uh, I just don't get it. It's probably the most disturbing and wrong kind of video game out there, and my computer software is going weird again. Oh, okay, I'm just going to assume it's keeping recording me. So, yeah, there's that. This one is really odd. Um, <laughs> kiddies, perhaps cover your ears for this one, I don't know. Uh, a pornographic website, yeah, plans to sponsor an eSports team. Uh, for those of you who don't know what eSport is, it's basically a team of, inverted commas, professional video gamers who compete for prizes. Um... Yeah, games like um, League of Legends and Dota 2 or Hearthstone and that sort of thing. Um, apparently the website has had hundreds of submissions and plans to go ahead with it. So, exactly what gaming needed. The image of, you know, because <laughs> the image is anyway that it's just a load of dudes. Nerdy in their rooms who don't have a life. So, you know, let's, let's have a porn site sponsor us that's that's great for the image and it's also bringing that sort of thing into the mainstream media as well which can't be a good thing either um yeah <laughs> good grief where are we so that's pretty much it there was one other thing where um crazy some guy was a developer for a game called paranormal paranautical activity um, which I recently saw on sale, oddly enough, and um, he decided to threaten, not threaten, send a death threat to Gabe Newell, who is the, for those who don't know, he is the, oof, he's the co-founder and he has a, he's a very big cheese in Valve, who owns Steam, the digital di game distribution website that their game was on. So promptly Steam took it down when they saw this tweet, and um, the chap who said it has resigned and sold his shares in his half of the business. Um... Not the smartest move, and that's another in a long line of people doing dumb stuff on Twitter and that sort of thing. So, yeah. Dumb. Um, that's about it, really. That was my news lineup. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> my apologies. That was my little news lineup of the things I've cherry picked. This was pretty much all from Kotaku. I'll uh, try and leave the link to that Nintendo video if you can stomach that. If you did watch it, let me know what you thought. Um,. I do love Nintendo, but oh, they don't help themselves. They really don't. But oh well. So thank you very much, guys, for listening. Um, I don't know what game I put in the background today, but hopefully it's really cool and you liked it. Of course it is. It's my channel. Everything's really cool and you love it. Don't you? Don't you? I'll find you if you don't. Uh, <laughs> so thanks very much, guys, for watching. Um, as always, if you liked the podcast, I keep going to say the video, it's in the habit, please show your support by hitting that like button, it, it really does help, of course, all your opinions, all of this stuff, any critical, uh, what's the word, 
uh, edit, uh, constructive criticism, if you have any of it, let me know. Be nice, don't just say you suck. <laughs> but, um, so again, thanks very much, guys. If you like this, and uh, perhaps this is your first thing you've ever seen of mine, then feel free to check out my other stuff. If you've seen a few things of mine, you like what you've seen, then please subscribe. It uh, always makes my day. So thank you very much, guys, for listening, and I will see you in the next episode. See ya! Boom! Dead outro, though.